Yo, what's up everybody, and in this video, first things first, I actually got a mic, as you can see, or you can hear, the sound quality should be a lot hell of a better right now, and anyways, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to find a buried treasure without a map, and also I'll be giving some tips and tricks so you can find the buried treasure faster, so make sure you stay in the video, don't click away and don't miss out anything and yeah make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tutorial videos like this and yeah let's get started alrighty so now we're in a world right now and now what you want to do is first thing you want to find a beach spawn something like this or just a beach farm in general and then you want to open up your pie chart which is shift plus f3 or you can do this with right shift and f3 as well and then after doing this you can see a pie chart shows under your bottom right and now you want to click on the numbers that correspond to the pie as you can see the first one is game render second one is update display third one is fps pie fourth one is render so on and so forth and now you want to click one which is game render and then you want to click one as well on your keyboard on levels then you want to click on entities which is also one on your keyboard these um, key could usually change so you want to keep in track of them and yeah so now you want to scan around to see if there's a spike as you can see there's a spike here it's not that big because you're in 16 render distance it will get bigger after it so after scanning that there is a spike somewhere here you want to lower your render distance to 5 entity distance does not matter and then you want to go back in your game and then you want to turn on your trunk borders by pressing f3 plus g and now you want to scan around and also keep track of the side of your screen here this is really important and then just scan around slowly if you're just learning and then until you see a spike on your orange entities here there you, there you go you can see there's a spike here and then you want, if you want you can rescan again to make sure there you go and now you know that there is a map yeah there is a chest here somewhere around here and then you want to turn this way and then you want to run okay so you want to mainly practice this turn this is quite important though you don't want to turn like 90 degrees because the map list is somewhere around here not here yeah you want to turn this way and go and then after you go into a new chunk you want to recheck again keep turning left and right so let's turn from right to left this time and you can turn you can see that the spike continues that means it's not in this chunk that means it's on the opposite chunk here because you can see the spike here then there should be a chest here turn recheck 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 if you see this kind of situation where every single facing has a spike then that means that treasure is probably in this chunk so you want to find 99 on your chunk coordinates here and then you find 99 just right here here and there you should find your buried treasure you can just do this that's basically how you do map list buried treasure, it's really simple. So now we, we're gonna go and talk about some tips and tricks for finding this. So the first thing, yes you should probably practice this turn, because if you can see top runners usually don't spend time like rechecking, they just go and just go and then they just keep um, checking every time when they enter a new chunk. And then until they see this thing which every single direction has a spike then they just dig down so 
Also, another thing that I can give tips is a lot of times, sometimes, not a lot of times, chests could have a block in front of them, mainly stone, the types of stone, granite, and some other types of stone, and sandstone, and coal ores. They usually have a stone like this, I'll show you. So, if they are buried, they sometimes would have, well, let's say, let's put sand. Sometimes they'll have a block, like exposed here, so you know that there's a buried treasure here. So, yeah, you, also, you can also keep track of the block in front of them, so you can find them easier. And instead of keep um, trying to scan again and again. And you want you also want to make sure that it's 99. So you don't dig on the wrong spot. I've I've making these mistakes sometimes on my runs, which missing by one block and then end up missing the map list. So you also you also want to make sure you dig on 99. And yeah, that's basically everything. And I'll also link a uh, mapless practice map down below in the description so you can maybe mess around with the map, try to practice it. And yeah, that's basically this video. I hope you guys know how to find a buried treasure without a map right now. And by the way, this only works on, I'm only sure this works on 1.16 versions. For 1.17, the picture is kind of bugged or something, which is kind of annoying, but who needs mapless on 1.17 when people don't run it, right? So yeah, that's basically it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.